thanks for tuning in this episode of Channel Surfing. We're down here at the 2024 Seattle Boat Show, and uh, I'm here with the uh, Fluid Motion. So, uh, a lot of people don't know, Fluid Motion actually makes Ranger Tug, they make Cutwater Boats, and they actually just uh, just released Solera Boats um, here last year. So, uh, we're down here looking at a Cutwater 248. Uh, this is actually um, offered by Bellingham Yachts, um, who's the local dealer for Cutwater here in Washington State. And uh, they've allowed us to do a quick tour of the boat to check out the 248. Now, the 248 is very similar to the Ranger Tug R23, right? But uh, there are some major differences between the two. So, um, price point um, starting at 159 about 160000 for the 248. Uh, the 250 horse V6 engine, this is actually the same motor that the 300 is. It's just tuned a little bit different to get more horsepower out of it. Uh, fantastic engine, plenty, plenty of get up and go. And with that, let's take a tour on board. I really like about the Cutwater 248. I mean, it's a lot of boat in a small package. Um, it's got a really nice transom. It's actually very similar to the R27. All right, flip it up. You've got, you only have cold water back here, no hot water. Um, spot the electric grill. And it's got a bait well underneath the electric grill. Very similar to what the R27 has. It's like another storage locker back here. There's no propane on the boat. It would normally be the propane locker. Next extra seat here. So there's the house batteries, and it's probably the thruster battery. And then some storage space forward. And look in the starboard lads, right? You got a hot water heater and the engine starting battery in the back. And of course, being the outboard, not having an engine under here, gives us a lot more storage space. So plenty of room to, to put stuff. Gas tank, the seawater chest right there with the sea strainer, uh, gas uh, inline filter. So looking at the helm, very, very uh, basic, but everything you need to, to drive the boats. The Yamaha display here, uh, no autopilot, but it does have radar um, and a Garmin uh, chart plotter. Uh, Ranger does everything and Cutwater do everything in Garmin electronics. So everything kind of works really well together that way. Obviously has a bow thruster as well. <clears throat> you don't need a stern thruster with a 250 horse outboard on the back with directional control. And then all your switches, you know, your horn, your windshield wipers, bilge pumps, uh, Icon VHF radio, uh, Lenco electric tabs. Let's see, it's got a microwave. It's got the lo really large refrigerator. It's the same size I put on all the boats, but it's plenty big. You know, it served us well on our trip to Southeast Alaska. They fit. Rest in peace. Just a cave with a coffin. Kind of looks like a coffin. Let me close your lid. So back here in the mid berth, otherwise known as the cave. Your AC panel, very standard um, on all the Ranger and Cutwater boats. A uh, Bosto uh, diesel heater. And your house and your engine battery, your parallel switch. Um, inverter remote start. And a fuel gauge for the diesel, the diesel heater. And I can tell you, you can fit an adult to sleep in here, but they will not be able to turn over without coming out and going back in. It's just not tall enough for your hips to rotate. But uh, kids would fit here, dogs would fit here really well. It actually worked pretty good as a dinette table. If we didn't sleep on our boat as much, I'd probably use a dinette up there, down here more. With our uh, mattress topper, it makes it impractical to to roll it up out of the way and then have seating go use the net. But uh, this is actually pretty nice. And it's got a TV. You know, the same TV with a D, it's 19 inch TV with a DVD player on the side. So you open the door that way and now the V-Birth actually becomes the head. And if you were to shower, this becomes your shower, not shower nozzle. And it hooks right here. And then there's this curtain right here that wraps around 
right here. That way you can shower right here inside the, it turns the V-berth basically into a shower. And then when you're done, very innovative use of space for a small boat. And so there's the uh, walk through the Cutwater 248. Uh, it's basically a 24 foot boat with a microwave. I don't know how many 24 boats out there have microwaves, but uh, anyhow, um, Bellingham Yachts was gracious enough to let us do a walk through this boat. So uh, if you're interested in one, you're in the Washington area. They are the uh, dominant dealer up here for Cutwater Boats. Uh, give them a call. And if you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comment section below. And thanks for watching. If you enjoyed watching this video, click the screen to watch another.